In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the 11 parts of the perfect home page, service page, or product page. These are also called money pages because they are the most valuable. These are the pages that someone visits when they want to buy from you. So you want to get these right. And by the way, from here on, I'm just going to be referring to these as service pages, but just know that all of the sections that I break down should be on your home page and or your product or service page too. It's just easier to say one word instead of three. My name is Clint. On this channel, I give tutorials on things like content marketing, SEO, web design, and more. So if that's you, that's your jam, consider subscribing to stay updated when new content comes out. The best service pages have 11 parts. I'll explain the importance of each and give some examples along the way. Number one, a service page has to include a primary key phrase optimized header with your primary call to action. This needs to be simple and clear above everything else. People should know who you help how you help them and the benefit you bring. For example, helping dads in the Atlanta area lose weight so that they can feel like themselves again. Or how about this? Helping software businesses build their social media presence to grow revenue. Your call to action needs to let the visitor know exactly what you want them to do. Don't say, learn more. Can I ask what it is? Say, schedule a 15 minute demo. Oh. It should also have a bright picture of either your product or a human looking at the hero text and CTA button. Number two, your service page needs quick visual credibility. Logos work best here, but you could show pictures of completed projects or quotes from happy customers. Number three, every service page needs a video. A video allows you to connect with customers on a human level to explain your process or to display a testimonial from a customer. Number four, your service page needs meaningful keyword optimized subheaders also known as H2s or heading twos that are connected with your product or service. A mental health clinic should talk about depression, trauma, and anxiety because those are search optimized categories that people care about and are looking for when it comes to mental health treatment. A language translation service should list the types of content they translate for the same reason. The easiest way for you to find the keyword phrases that you should include in your subheaders are by using a content tool like ClearScope. All you have to do is type in your target keyword phrase and then it will create a report. Now on the right are the connected keywords that you should also use on this web page. You can even sort them by importance and heading as you're building out your content. Then as you type your content, it will check off that keyword from your list and increase the letter grade in the top left. The higher the grade, the more keyword rich your text is. A free way to find subheaders is to look at the bottom of search results on Google in the related searches section. For example, for Atlanta therapy, we can see that there are some meaningful categories that might be worth highlighting if they're relevant for your business. Just be sure to use your keywords in ways that are actually helpful and that make sense to the person on the web page not just for Google. Number five, all service pages need answers to top questions your customers might have. Just like credibility in the form of quotes, examples, videos, and logos, you don't want to put all your FAQs on just one page. You should address the questions that they have in the moment too. The easiest way to find these questions is to use the people also ask feature on Google. Type in your key phrase and then look at the common connected questions that people have also asked related to that question. As you click the drop down arrow for questions, even more questions related to that one will populate at the bottom. If possible, and if it's related to your business, copy the questions in the exact wording and paste it to your web page as an H2. Then answer that question as simply and as clearly as possible. Orbit Media, a Chicago web design company, does a good job with this with their section titled, what if I'm not 100% sure of what I want? They follow up with saying, that is understandable. Now this shows that they are anticipating potential customers' problems and that they have empathy. Number six, 
the best service pages have a problem section. Think about the physical, emotional, and philosophical problems that your customers have. Physical problems usually have to do with time, money, and energy. Like you don't have the time to interview job applicants with your busy schedule, or your budget doesn't allow you to waste money on advertising that doesn't get you customers. Or how about this one? You don't have the energy to ideate, shoot, edit, and post all your content each week. Emotional problems are how you feel about the physical problem. Are they anxious? Are they frustrated? Are they overwhelmed? For example, you feel frustrated that you can't keep up with your job responsibilities like you should. Or you're anxious that your customers are passing you up. Or here's another one. You are overwhelmed by the workload and know that you can't keep it up. Philosophical problems is what the customer feels should or should not be the case about their problems. For example, you believe that there should be a way to interview applicants on your schedule, or you believe you shouldn't have to pay if you are not seeing results. Here's one more. You believe that there should be a way to make content consistently without burning out. Your solution is always more valuable when it's compared to the problem that you solve. So do this earlier on the page. Here is a really good example from Business Made Simple. They hit the physical problem by talking about a dip in revenue and wasting time. Then later, they talk about feeling constantly overwhelmed. Number seven, your service page needs a steps section. This is where you show the process of how to work with you in three steps or less. The reason it's three is that studies have shown that after three, we remember less and less of the process or list. Plus, the goal of this Section is to make it seem super simple to work with you. Even if your internal process is way more complicated, you need to zoom way out to make it seem super easy. For example, you could say, step one, schedule a free consultation. Step two, we'll get to know you and your goals. And step three, we'll give you a simple and clear plan of action with transparent pricing. I like the way that this transcription service website lays it out. They say upload, pay, get transcript. This is very straightforward and it seems very simple to work with them. Number eight, all service pages need more testimonials and social proof. Now I'm putting this in here twice because it's that important. Basically, anytime you want the visitor to make a decision, as in like click a button or call or schedule or opt in, whatever, you want to pair it with some social proof. You should not have one reviews page on your website. Every product or service page on your website should be a review page. Again, it could be embedding your Google reviews, showing logos, a custom quote with their picture, or probably the best testimonial, a short and sweet video testimonial. Number nine, the best service pages have truly helpful visuals. Stock art doesn't convey who you are as a brand. It's generic. Instead, include pictures of you, your team, or your location. This stuff reminds folks that you are real people doing real stuff. You need to show pictures or examples of your work that you have done. It doesn't matter if you have physical products or digital products. You need to show examples of you and your work or your business in action fulfilling a service throughout this page. Probably the best type of visual is data and statistics. Showing is always better than telling on a website. If you can quantify your results with a chart, a graph, or a diagram, then you need to do that. This appeals to the logos side of our reasoning, meaning that we like to feel like our decisions are based upon logic and not just on our emotions, and numbers help us do that. Headspace does this by showing off its ratings and its downloads. This website does a good job of showing the outcomes of their patients. Basically, they demonstrate that the bad stuff goes down and then the good stuff goes up. Branded icons can also be really helpful, especially if you work in tech or software where it's hard to take pictures of your work. Just make sure that it fits your brand's colors. Now, there are a ton of websites where you can update the color of images to match your brand. Undraw, Humans, Flat Icon, and Icon Scout are just a few. One more quick note about images. Large image files are the number one reason why websites load slowly. Make sure that each image that you upload is under 250 kilobytes. 
Now, a simple way to compress an image is to use the free tool tinypng.com. Here, you can upload a JPEG or a PNG and it will compress it down. It will show you how big it was and how big it is now. Number 10, your service page needs to have a call to action at the bottom of the page. This could be the primary call to action like schedule or buy or call, or it could be a secondary call to action like a lead magnet or a newsletter sign up or both. I like to include my secondary call to action in the footer just to make sure that it's included on every page. If someone gets to the bottom of your web page, it means that they actually appreciate your content. So why not? And for heroes and calls to action like this one, it's best to have a picture of a person looking at or pointing to the opt-in or to have a physical representation of your thing. Here's a good example from Sandstone Care where they have a dude looking right where they want you to click. Number 11, many high converting service pages use a chat bot. Now you may not have a support team to man the chat line 24 seven, but that doesn't mean that you can't use these guys. You can program support options, use AI, or a personal favorite of mine is using video chatbots to combine the two, like this one from Video Ask. Basically, you map out the journey someone might take in their decision process and film short videos to walk them through your stuff. And chatbots are great because they're also sticky, meaning they stay with the browser as they scroll, and so they can help lead the visitor in the right direction. Listen, if you include all these things on your home product or service page, then you will have a landing page that both humans and search engines love. If you want the free fillable SEO guide and checklist for this and my other courses that cover all the stuff I talked about in this video and more, then click the link in the description box and download it for yourself. If you want to see the next part of this course, how to create your about page, then click the next video here. Do you wanna know more about how to make your about page? You get it? About your about page? You wanna know more? I thought it was good, you didn't think it was good?